Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the Free Hammers. It's Luke here. Four more nil. Four more nil. And into the next round. Come on, we're going to win it this year, boys. I'm telling you, we're going to win it. Um, what performance? No more than you can ask for. Changes all over the pitch. You know, it was nice to see that Antonio could get a rest. And Rice could get a rest. Sufal could get a rest. Um, Oggy got a rest as well. Loads of rests, which is a really, really good thing. Still a really strong lineup, you know, capable and showed rightly that they should be able to beat Doncaster. You know, we brought in Yarmolenko, who played up top. It was Lanzini, Ben Rama, and Fernells around, you know, nice little wind changes, playing some champagne football in the first half. Uh, you had Socek and Noble, Frederick Johnson, but winner. Nice to see Diop back, um, and Fabianski started for us in goal. Um, on the bench, you had uh, you know a few youngsters on there, Baptiste, Safalawen, and Trot, who all came on, and we'll, we'll go into that later on. Um, what better way to start, guys? You know, the man who usually misses all the chances, Fornells, can't stop smiling. You know, it's it's just good. You know, it's just good. It's a good, just a real good feel good factor about the club. It's not so much that we're big Doncaster. It's just you know we just feel good. It's it's enjoyable to watch West Ham at the moment. Anyway. Back to the game. I'm, I'm going off on a tangent. Fornell's got the first goal. Took it really, really well. You know, smashed it hard in there. Some nice play around the box. Um, yeah, one nil up after two minutes. And, you know, it calms you down against the League One team, you know, because the longer it goes on, you're not scoring. You start to get a bit nervous. You start trying that little bit too hard. And there is such a thing as you can try too hard. Then you start pulling your shorts. You start overthinking. Um, so it was good to get that early so that we could relax, you know, we could just settle into our game after that. Um, after that, like I say, loads of little champagne football moments. Um, Lanzini went really close, it pulled one wide. Um, it was loads, it was loads, it was too many to remember. But um, yeah, second goal did come. Uh, Yarmolenko, lovely dink, lovely little dink finish, you know. He, he's got that quality, he can be really frustrating in the Premier League. But, you know, against a League One opposition, you know, he's elite, you know, in terms of when, he, when you're coming up against players in the League One. But it was, it was a lovely goal, two new up, nice, you know, nice, comfortable. We can we can relax, we play the football. And we did, we played some lovely football. Lovely little winter changes here and there. And you're just thinking, yeah, you know, we, this this is fairly comfortable. One more goal and it would have been out of sight. Uh, two nil half-time. I was really happy, you know, relaxed, just enjoying the game, you know, I wasn't stressed or anything like that. Uh, second half started, yeah, similar, we, we, we were playing really good, moving the ball around nicely. Um, just that second goal, you know, just weren't coming, we had loads, loads of attempts, loads of attempts. That They rattled the bar a couple of times as well, that was later on after our goals, but that's the only sort of chances for them. Um, Afalawan come on and I was on I was on the betting app Ladbrooks and it was like I can't find his name and his name weren't there and I was going to put him on as the next goal scorer um, and it just you know he, obviously he scored the fourth goal but uh, sorry I'm forgetting a goal I'm so I'm lost <laughs> so many goals it's rare that West Ham's got as many goals anyway the third goal was from the corner wasn't it the corner was whipped in um and it was a weird one, wasn't it? A weird, horrible, sort of funny, young goalish sort of thing. That really horrible goal. Um, I tell you what was funny though. What about Fonell was when he went for that overhead kick and <laughs> sort of nearly knocked himself out? That was hilarious. Anyway, Afalawin. Back to Afalawin because now we are on the fourth goal. Uh, Fredericks did really well. Um, played a lovely ball and Afalawin took it. What a moment for the lads, you know? I was only talking about him the other day, weren't I, on the uh, show, saying about how. He hadn't scored a goal yet and he hadn't made an appearance. And for him to come on, get that goal, fantastic for us. Um, nice to see Nathan Trott get his debut as well. Obviously, he didn't have to do much, but it was nice to see him on. Baptiste come on as well and played it right back again. Nice to see the kids come on. And I think we'll see more of this as it goes on. You know, if we carry on having a really good season, I think more is the last 10 games. Unless we're right in there for that mix for Champions League and stuff, I think we will start seeing the youth team blooded in. Um, but read to the next round, Liverpool Manchester United. We'll find out later on. Um, but brilliant, fantastic, what a day! Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. Come on, your wines, keep believing. Let's go.